News. Severe penalties in store there for sure. Dave, thank you very much. Now take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is mural number 75 out of 101, but everybody in Cleveland knows it as the Whale Wall on the shore. Way. Well, it's actually called the Song of the Whales, and it was painted 22 years ago, but is getting a facelift right now. Roosevelt Leftwich joins us now near the project. I know things are kind of put on hold because of the rain. It certainly is, and because you know water and paint don't mix, but if you take a look behind me, you can see they made quite a bit of progress today. Part of the base is done. That blue is starting to come back, and soon you'll see those whales just seem to pop right off that wall. That's the intent of the painter. As he says, he wants to give this gift to Cleveland and also remind everybody about the importance of saving our lake. If you travel daily on I-90 near downtown, you've seen it so much that you probably don't even notice it anymore. But the whale wall on the side of Cleveland Public Power is one of the largest pieces of public art anywhere. And for years, it hasn't looked so good. And that's changing. 22 years ago, the artist Wyland painted the work called The Song of the Whales here in Cleveland next to Lake Erie to draw attention to the need to preserve and protect our water resources across the planet. And he's back this week to make sure that that message doesn't fade like the paint did after 22 years of exposure to sun, wind, rain, and ice. And this is where the Cuyahoga River fire was in 69. And I was a, a young artist, a kid really, and I, I saw that and it really inspired me to use my art to do something. And restoring that art and its message has inspired a lot of people and groups to act. All the paint was donated by PPG and color renovation out of Broadview Heights brought in equipment and painters to put down the base and mix up the colors to the original shades. But Wyland will restore the whales because that's the heart of the message. They're the canaries in the coal mine. When the whales are sick, that means the ocean's sick and uh, we can reverse all that. And a big part of this restoration project is to inspire others to continue Wyland's work. He's been working with a group of young artists from the Cleveland area and showing them how to paint large murals on unusual canvases. That's the purpose of art. You've got to always move people and, and make sure that they see the things that we're trying to bring aware to uh, society as far as cleaning the oceans and keeping our earth uh, uh, secure from pollution. <laughs> Wyland says he works fast, and if the weather cooperates, he hopes to have it finished by the end of the week. And even on such a big canvas, he hopes that once it's done, it will continue to serve a community that knows the importance of clean water. And water is uh, the source of all life on Earth for, for the freshwater habitats, the fish, for the ocean, and for us. So uh, this mural really is a testament to that. Now, one thing Wyland says that he also wants to make sure of is that as people come by and look at it, that it does really stick out and it does really pop at them. Because you got to think, this thing has been up for 22 years, so as folks drive by, you just kind of look at it and go, eh, that's what it is. You know, they just pass it by. But this way, with it, you know, restoring those colors and also fixing that one panel that came off back uh, when we the hurricane remnants came through and knocked it off, they're, put, they, they're going to fix that little area and maybe even add a little Cleveland, extra Cleveland touch to it as huh. well. I can't wait to see the finished product. But yeah, you're right. I, those whales were starting to fade away. So it's going to look great when it gets a makeover. Thanks, Rosie. A key part of Cleveland mm -hmm. bouncing yeah. back like it ought to be. Well, tonight could be the night for a.